Dallas police have arrested a 15 year old for the murder of a mother of six shot at work during a Dollar General robbery. Police say the teen shot Gabriel Simmons, even though she handed over the cash drawer. Investigators say tips from the community based on surveillance video helped them identify and then locate the suspect. Fox 4's Alex Boyer is first here on Fox 4 with a fundraiser getting started to help that victim's family. Alex. That's right, and news of the arrest of the 15-year-old suspect, as you mentioned, coming just as members of the community and even family friends are gathering here for a fundraiser for the family of Gabrielle Simmons. Now, the teen, Dallas police say, shot and killed Simmons, was arrested just a few blocks away from the Dollar General store where that fatal encounter took place Monday night. It's a residential neighborhood, and we drove through there, but I can tell you there's no obvious sign of where the suspect was taken into custody. I talked to two close friends of Simmons by phone. They tell me they're relieved by the arrest, obviously, but emotionally drained by this ordeal. They're upset a teenage boy allegedly took the life of a mother of six. A pastor who helped to organize tonight's fundraiser says this case needs to be a teachable moment. This just can't be another kumbaya moment to where everybody after of it. Uh, go back to business as usual. Uh, that, that would be a slap in the face uh, uh, to Gabriel um, and, and his family. You know? So uh, what would possess a 15-year-old to pick up a gun and take somebody's life? Um, a, lot of, a lot of questions uh, that needs to be answered here in the community. And part of tonight's fundraiser will include a community forum. Pastor Chan says it's an informal opportunity for people to vent and ask questions. And I can tell you in the minutes that we were preparing uh, to go on air to talk to you all, uh, Simmons's fiance showed up here at the church along with five of his six children. Uh, they are inside of the uh, event tonight, of course, uh, grieving uh, the loss of uh, Simmons. We are going to speak with him uh, after the event tonight. Uh, he says that um, right now that he is doesn't know what to think about the arrest, adding that it is in God's hands. Back to you. All right, and it is such a sad story, but Alex, thank you for your coverage. Now, there could be at least one more arrest in this case. It's possible police would not discuss the search for the 15-year-old suspect's accomplice, who was also recorded on surveillance video. You see it here. He was seen running away in shorts and a winter-style hat. Police also did not say if they recovered the murder weapon. We'll update this story as we get more details from the investigation.